Namhlanje sizoke sigxile kumkhakha wezonogada abazimele. Sizoke sithi shwi ethekwini ukuyohlangabezana nohlengiwe majola omphathi wegebuza protection services. We have a physical security personnel on site. Also VIP protection it's not only for politicians. Siphinde sivakashele i Lady T protection. Esegoli ukuze sigxithe sikhashane nonothando baloyi ozosifundisa kabanzi ngebusiness like. It wasn't easy starting in a different province without any infrastructure. So when I started I decided to rather let me team up with a local. Boba Billy Labosoma business, Basoga Bevagashele Studio, Ogozo Tinita is in Ginga, Abasanga Bezana Nazo, Kuma business Abu. Kawala ekaya wazo noka tabazmele. Unike la ngokufike la, upendula okshomile, okshenga, kanye nolu nyusizo olu sangene nozo noka ata. Business security nika wangote inzima. Ama tauta kakulu awa rana le business. Lo mkaka uhamba pambili ngokulu. Kukisho kube u 9,000 wezi nkampane ezi palisiwe. Kanye nono kata abao 400,000 aba palisiwe kuwona lo msebenzi. Women obviously haven't had the opportunity as long as men have. Ame sekuri kufunika matote ya ngebele. Isi abatinga abatipesifazane to run this business as well. Kulangene sano uguti lo mkaka ukikiza ama bilion au 50 wa marandi ngunyaka. Ukwanda gobu kebenge ningezi mkupinde kutale indi mengulu egu kule ni gomkaka wazo no kata bazmele. We need security in our houses, in our workplaces, anywhere. Everywhere vila afune ama security kutaba nbabe protected. Nga pezu gogu ngipisa izi nga lop kebengu lo mkaka upinde ube na matuba manibe omsebenz. Private security industry lapa ya South Africa. Himkunda ene zindueza shuga shuge. Sikurma lana genge in kampani nige ez guaz gugnyeza umuntozo tali e kapil. Noma ba kape iza kiwoge. Noma ba pinde ba kapege abandu. Yabona le mkunda lena nge. Iku wazi gutige ibe ne zinye zindueza shuga shuga nge. Kota zipinde zisebe nzisan. Jongo oso ma biznisbe tuge simpate lebon. Laba abesi mama babili. Ababo nile uguta batate la matuba guo nage lo mkaka. Ubu uze baza kela mage la lthas. I'm Klingi Wemachola, Managing Director of Kepuza Protection Services. I'm currently based in Devon. We do provide security protection services to our clients, ranging from guiding VIP protection event services, as well as uh, electronic systems. Making moves. <laughs> The age difference between me and my simple exam is very incolu. Because of political violence, as a case, it ain't Masuge Kaya, so I was left on my own. So I sort of grew up as if Ngingane Eyodwa. Whereas I have brothers and sisters, it's just that I bear Kogu be surrounding. So I had to learn to be independent, I had to learn to fight my battles on my own, even though I had bigger sisters and bigger brothers. Oh, Mundo, oh, was, what he, if she has a goal and sits on that goal, I can do some shula. The best relationship that I have is with my parents. And my family values are very important to her. Besides work, it's God. It's, it's my family. Mang pagi dalan kuli ngai, lang kuli kuna elokshin. Kuma kelo ne wait to be ne tak shop, and bagu monto spazan. And I was like, in the tagas ya kiko. Isn't that in ninga bebe zenza? I was part of those things. So minang gikuli ngai zugu tu monto ya guzu guzi ai sebenz. Gikbona le itu guzi kuplantega esi digmi nugu ti. Acting with two books, that's why we are going to go to a create your own employment and use use them. And the banjo banjo basa benze when. Usengi wenashu utu muntu o o sanaban. She's bubbling. 
Kuluma Nanu Mauban, Aga Kate. When I see Abandu, Pesebens, and they are happy, it makes me happy. So I love people in that way. And Yakolela to Utsing is to give back to your community. I'm an activist. I'm a weakness is Ake, Eng Eok Kalanj, Eng Gazengaisho, Gingati. Unfortunately, I run a life of shame. Usebens are cool, and I think she must. Try and relax a bit. I spend most of the time in 17 and I balance I eco It's but yeah, I think I'm a workaholic. Hello. Good 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 Hello. Oh, no, I'm trying to get security. I'm going to pay the car. I'm going to pay the car. When um, my former partners uh, wanted to start a security company, they approached me and said, Are you interested in starting a company or with us, a security company with us? I said, Yeah, sure. Because, my, one, uh, there are no uh, women in the industry, there are no women players in the industry. And I felt that it needed a, a feminine touch, more especially in terms of providing efficient and professional service to our clients. Mokuno Mokebe and Kunen Kunin again can talk. Oma Wenzel, Boshumon to Nova Ekat, Kunin, the Funal Fage Umtet. Oma Bokumon to Funal Kondo, which he into Elian Zilians of Umtet. Unga at Masafia Pambil, Besebeaba, Nokshaye, who was in Sampula as Belunga, yes, a corner, a training of Nabai Tate, Beseg and Nati, who were corner now walking go, where sitting was a client, a scenario, about Pinna Foot, Ba Edek, who won my trainings, but Pinna Baham Bones, and my trainings. By e cutting, we mean that we have a physical security personnel on site. We do event security where women in Mbimbi, we ensure we see a band to a baby congested, we ensure we see lines, bangenang in the fanele. Also VIP protection, it's not only for politicians. What was our army, which one, about 56? 56 years. So you're 56 ones, you know? permanent. It's permanent, you know? permanent, you know, you go to like six months. months. Never, a bunch of permanent. It's in November, my contracts. Yes. It's about 20, about, 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 West Bandages, my contracts. It's been, it's been a pool of over 500 people. It's been a pool of over 500 people. It's been a pool of over 500 people. Because we get mega events where, you know, we're going to be a pool of 5,000 people. So, finally, let's have a security eye in the pool. I was in 2014. My responsibility is the company and the client service manager. The client service manager basically is a client who is able to help the services and the security guards. This is the selling point of the integrity of the company. Be unique with business like Uglila Mania, my security companies are going along a bunch. We pay attention to detail, we, we make sure with the security is covered at all angles. So, as the as she is space or a room or with the CC toilet, a client delayed to the dinner, it's all the service a final and a pillar. Lanu Namakata Manga, you got a pillar. Uh, sina makadao six, uh, oh. sina two emini, yeah. and then kambama sina four. Uh, Siyala ikad hausige, 
Yeah. Na kone client is nige zinda ubusi sebenzele. We keep our documents. A client a la person the OP book where we record every activity incident in Zanala. We also go see by the good school in Zanala. You're a young lady, you're 32 years old. You employ all these men, I imagine Zulu men. How do you handle that? How do you handle disagreements? private sector ngaphambi kokuthi yena ke nabanye ozawo kwabo beyiqalile labo ibusiness kuyona ke le nkundla lena yama security uyabona ke ukuba usoma business owesimame osebenza kule nkundla lena ke ehamba phambili ngabantu besilisi akulula kakhulu njengoba ke le nkundla ina ma challenges eza now kodwa ke uhlengiwe ke yena ke usowadlulile ama challenges waphinde futhi wayitshela ukuthi uzosebenza ngokuzimisela nokuqhunga isibindi ukuze abe usoma business oqavile njenga manje unathi uqoxisana nathi ukushitshela ukuthi ke business lakhe ulenza kanjani ukuthi lindlondlobali ah it job is very cold and now i'm here excited and nervous but yeah, i'm looking forward to the interview Lovely. Welcome to Making Moves. Thank you very much. Take a seat. So you are a private security officer, pretty much? Yes, because you have to go through that phase of qualifying as a private security officer. That's one of the requirements. Okay, so what kind of stuff did you learn in your training? They teach you the basics of, of the industry, what is required of you and the rules and regulations. So you didn't have to learn how to like take somebody down or anything of the sort? No, that's what you do when you do your VIP trainings. Okay, yes. okay, okay. So now tell me... I only have grade B, if, yeah. Okay, so, so you know how to do the administrative the side of the business, but you know, if somebody came in here and tried to rob us, you wouldn't be very much help. I will be Would you? of help, yes. Okay, how? <laughs> I'll make sure that uh, everyone is safe and secure How? without harming anyone. Because um, most people think that security is all about physical um, security. We also need to be very intelligent about our security. We detail, we make sure that we can point out before it gets to physical. You come down there, the person is to say, look, but what are you looking for? You're looking for money you look, before we get into physical fighting and all. Okay. It's not necessary. So what are you looking for? Why did you start this business? So I was looking for professionalism. There's a lack of professional, especially for the uh, small guys. We are not very professional and efficient, and we find that people don't take us serious. So it was about ensuring that the image of a security officer is, is portrayed the way it should be because I believe we play a very critical role in organizations and we need to take care and uh, be sure of what we're doing before people take us serious. Uh, I've seen your turnover figures. You're a small business. Yes. How are we going to grow this business? How do we take it forward? Uh, it's ensuring that we have the capacity because we want to attract businesses and they want to see if you'll be able to service them. So your capacity as a business in terms of infrastructure, um, in terms of working capital, those are the things that I need to work on okay. so that I can attract the, the clientele that I want to attract. So are you going out and tendering for business? Not as yet. I have, uh, I have a strategy because I've realized that I cannot at this stage go out and tender because tenders they will check for especially your infrastructure, they will come and look at you, how many cars do you have, uh, arm response, things that we don't really necessarily have at this point. So what I've done is to partner with companies that have these things uh, and say, look, we are a, a small company, but we are very professional in servicing, in servicing our clients. How can we work with you in ensuring that we learn from you as well as also contributing towards your BE uh, level? You're a young lady, you're 32 years old. You employ all these men, I imagine Zulu men. Um, uh, how do you handle that? How do you handle disagreements? Because of the cultural background, I'm from KZN, and I've, I've been taught to respect men. And having to say um, to um, an older person, look, you are not um, delivering, you are not um, 
adding value to the company and you need to find a way of doing that. I've tried to avoid it and I said I, I got a, a labor company that is dealing with my labor issues. So I will just draft an email to them to say, look, I have this a challenge, how do you help? Then they will come in. But I've realized that uh, that takes away a lot of time and I've, uh, I need to step up and own it, that I am the managing director, I've built this company and I need to get value for money from, from my employees. It's not easy, I'm learning every day, but I try. Where do you want to see the business in five years? What's the growth plan? The growth plan is to cover um, KZN and the national footprint. I believe South Africa has a lot of opportunities, especially for us as, as young women, young black women. I'm an entrepreneur, so I, I want to grow in the security industry as well as to explore other business opportunities that are out there. So what's the plan? I'm looking for funding for, for to say, look, this is where the business is at. These are the requirements for the business. And we now need to, to get funds to take it to another level. So where, so, where have you tried to get funding? I haven't. I have. I'm doing my homework, doing research, the requirements. I believe in doing your homework very well before you approach. So it's all about finding out what are the funders looking for, so that we present uh, us in a way that they will. It will up our game in terms of them believing in us and giving us their funding. I'm going to go and send you off to a friend of mine who's going to talk to you and maybe give you a bit of mentorship and you can discuss some of your growth plans. And then when you come back, we can chat again and you can give me some very clear answers. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, I will now be going for a coaching session with Busi Rapekwane, Manager Program Service Offerings at the Hope Factory. We'll catch up with them later for some feedback. The interview with Pepsi was an eye-opener. It made me realize that I'm standing on my way. I need to go back and ensure that the vision that I have for the company, I'm responsible for ensuring that it, the company grows and I need to go out there and look for funding. Yes, I am stubborn, but for a reason. There's nothing you can do. Is an open job on Gelabanga Kumbi, so would see a spalo salvo siesta. Labanag, you want to go local ones and would see Gom Kaka, Lona go security, Kuba, Ubunya Gom Kaka, or Kula Gakul, among the Wispalo Sama business. We are going to get on Kaka, Lona Gakul, also to me, the Gulama business, Lamangan, Nomage, Lawa, Asakul, Azakela into Mesulu and Agel and Kundan. Usama business were chasing Varashelai, Nayago Seven Zisa Ulas, Anna Logan and Kund, Ugutia was up, Noxiza, Macasman, the Aki, Atinga, Siso Luak, Nalu Tabaluak. I'm Notan Dobaloi, MD and founder member of Lady T Protection Services. Lady T Protection Services is a security company. We provide guarding services, VIP protection, CCTV installation and maintenance. We have been in this industry for more than six years. What makes us different and unique is the hands-on management team as well as staff who love what they're doing and who pride themselves in protecting the nation. Um, I grew up in Pinville, Zone 7. I only have one sibling, a sister in Mfundo, uh, but she stays in PE. I'm from a home who are very strict, and I like that because even though I didn't understand it then, but it taught one discipline at an early age. I was a very naughty child uh, who's very energetic. I was that kind of a, of a child compared to, to my other sibling. I think I'm going to because I was very naughty. I remember one day, uh, metric dance. Uh, you know, after metric dance, there's an after party and uh, all my friends plan to go to the after party. Me now, on the day of the metric dance, at 12 o'clock on the dot, my parents were there to fetch me and they say, no way, you're not going to a party. When the after party happened, some of the girls got raped. You know, so, you know, as I'm saying, Guti, you only realize certain things afterwards, Guti. Hey, actually, these people helped me. They, they saved me from, from, the, from, the, uh, from the trouble. 
when one was deciding on careers, I wanted to do hotel management. And don't ask me why. I think because I took home economics as a subject. So I wanted to do um, hotel management. But immediately after the trick, then I thought, let me just go and do and study marketing. And I did that. Um, the entrepreneurial spirit has always been there. Because I look back now, when I used to work for Discovery Health, I actually got myself into trouble, into so much debts, with, with stupid things like clothing accounts. I thought to myself, I had to get myself out of that situation. I started selling clothes. I would get clothes from China City, but I would tell my friends <laughs> that I got them overseas. Because I think that's when the Chinese market started coming in and people were not were afraid to go to town. And you know, I made such good profits that with that money, I was able to pay all my debts and I was able to um, even do renovations in Lee, you know, using that money. So I think the internal spirit started quite early. Um, in my life, I I I've always had that in me. Simple things in life make me happy. When I'm around the people that I love, my friends, my family. And to exercise, ugu, ugu jogger, it makes her happy as well. When I'm jogging, I get to think about a lot of things. I get to plan about a lot of things. And you know, one also finds a lot of solutions if I had a problem. Yes. Uh, when things they don't go her way, she gets very upset. I'm one person that is not fearful of trying new things. I love trying new things. This business is my life. So when everything is going well in the business, that makes me excited. The witness is stubborn. Yes, I am stubborn, but for a reason. There's nothing you can do because I see things my way. I would love to try things in the Layami. Santu Uma accepted the way she is. my sister Later on, she, she will come down, and then you can talk to her after that. I think when it comes to life issues, yes, I am, I am patient, but when it comes to business, um, I tend to become very impatient because there, I understand that time is, time is of essence. You know, time, time can make or break a deal. You have to give good service. You leave emotions out of it. Always, you have to be down and forever smiling. So, no gwenza show go to see say time e yoto eh ni gwenza ka ngakike lo esibonela namhlanje ke sisi gwenza eh ga i2 ngosuku ekseni nantamba ama sine day shift ne night shift every day every day umuntu onjani ke nje lo osebenzisana naye usisithando usisebenzisana kahle kakhulu naye ngathi umuntu open minded 
Usala Funuk Funda is into Ezinchal in Tuguzonke, and the Utan the Wutin is tough Saka song. Ashali as Fundis and Naso is into his name Wuti, Suaz Wimprover, Jongo Company Kula, Sikule Sonke, Osuzu and Zanin, you were petted, and now Sika, you put a number of Tom Sevens at Kuwait. Um Sevens the Kanuka. Kalang of five, yes. It's Nama VIP protect, yes. Over managing your bona owner and make sure good by a ham, yes. By a laba mele by call, yeah. My principals were. Society, Lacona Gama security card, Aga Lady T. Eslanganella con, Jenga Manje, Gizalai control room, Ula Coranzo Tokusan and I, Sikulagabans, was a business. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, all right, um, this is the office uh, operations manager where to, Mr. Yes. Tifonto Haye. This is in Kandine and I will be fixing. All right. You should not matter that we are humble. All right. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, no, Buso, our area, uh, our area manager, Buso Mati. I mean, I'm going my instruction from the operational manager. The same way is up hands. In Kalu Seven's a lot of legit. 2011, I'm going to go to the as time goes on, I think Boma two months or three, and I move on, I'm a driver, I'm a supervisor. But seven and no time, I think Gumna and you went like, like, I'll soon want to land a little mover, but challenge you, seven of Mele Wednesday, and then no Pumilo go. So go a good and like, when we are follow up, when Zoom Sevens are coming in the right. You are my daughter. A petty lady. Eh, I know. Who's about the public? Okay, this is our control room. This is where we uh, monitor our sites mm -hmm. because it's important that there must be a communication between the control room and the sites on an hourly basis. If there's an incident on site, uh, Catherine will call a supervisor. There's a supervisor who's roaming around mm -hmm. our sites. Yes. Supervisor, have you attended our incident? I never thought I would end up in the security industry, but I happened to have a, an opportunity to go and be a marketing manager a NSA security. Mm -hmm. After a few years, I was up, uh, promoted to marketing director. That's where I learned the tricks of the trade. Yeah. How was it even changing the deal? My first client was the NUM, the mm. National Union of Mine Workers. Mm. It, it wasn't easy starting in a different province without any infrastructure. Mm. So when I started, I decided to rather let me team up with a local mm. uh, businessman. So we started together, even though Nakona had problems along the way, because if you don't share the same vision with mm. the partner, yes. um, a lot of things are bound to happen. Mm -hmm. And I decided that, you know what, let's just part ways. I continued on my own. Uh -huh. How do you go about recruiting your people? When you to do grades and different things about children in early grade, how do you know which this person will do the job the right way as a lady TF and a We do a thorough recruitment and selection process. Mm. We recruit our staff from AMA training colleges because we're already looking for people who are trained. Even when we do training on our side, it would be a refresher training and also training them according to the, the site procedures. Okay, this is my office. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kelly. 
and like her and have you tried any of these development funding institutions, the likes of the NEF, etc., etc.? Mm, no, I haven't. Why not? Um... Protection. As in as in company, yes, was who says I'm a casman and gets it thing as a sugar sugar. Abana, Yabana Lanas could man go to Bagas, Uka Pagi doll, Papin the footy of a fag, look at Bizon go to a whole CCTV, Papin the footy, back up and name down the Zegbizon go to a gay in my. He's a little business, Eliza, a hey, a little show good to Yanazo in King and Peganinas. Schoolman and Gazin Tefan and Jungo cash flow, no good to Bagas, Ukfara e Mali, Mangabas, Tolama contract, Amash. I guess it's over to not hand. In my pig, I must so I now. I was good as um, Caesar, but I'm a challenge up again now. Get business like I'm here for an interview with Pepsi. I'm so nervous. I don't know what kind of questions he's going to ask, but anyway, sure. I'm here. Let's go. Welcome to Making Moves. Thank you very much. Take a seat. Okay. So, look at my lady T. Put my whip. Because your name is Notando Baloy, so Lady T Protection Services, where does that come from? The full name is Notando, mm. but people call me Tando. So this Lady T, the T stands for Tando. Okay. Yeah. If you came to me with Lady T Protection Services, I wouldn't be very inspired to say I, but you know. I purposely uh, came up with that name, Lady T, for a reason. The security industry is male dominated, and uh, I wanted a fresh name that will tell people more about um, who owns the company, that it's a female-owned company. And also just to break the stereotype to say who said women can't make it in this industry. Okay, fantastic. And you're making it in this industry? Is it working? I believe um, I am making it. It's not easy. But um, over the past six years, I have made my mark and uh, there's still a lot more to be done. Personally, what do you get out of this business outside of just making money? Um, creating employment within the country and making a difference. You know, when employees come back and say to you, we appreciate what you have done for us, that, that gives me a high level of satisfaction. And apparently you employ over 200 people. That's correct. And if those 200 people are each responsible for four people, mm -hmm. it's nearly a thousand mouths that you are responsible for feeding. Uh -huh. Does that keep you awake at night? It, it's humbling. Mm. And it does keep me awake at night, knowing that, you know what, it's not just about me. If I let these people down, sure, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. OK, so how do we go from 200 to 400? What are the challenges that stand in the way of that growth? Funding is also another uh, challenge with, with the banks. But only last year, I've managed to, I've actually discovered a funding house that was able to, to assist me when I needed to buy um, vehicles that were required for the, um, for the VIP protection because you need special vehicles. It's not your, your normal uh, ordinary vans. It, it's special vehicles that are fast enough and protected enough to be able to, do, uh, to perform the task at hand. Okay, so have you raised, have you looked at raising operational capital? to help you with cash flow? Because I understand that cash flow is one of your challenges. Uh, I'm in the process uh, with the bank as we speak. And have you tried any of these development funding institutions, the likes of the NEF, et cetera, et cetera? Mm, no, I haven't. Why not? Um, sure, that's a good question. I think I will definitely look, look into that as well. So do you think you're a good entrepreneur? Um, I believe so. Having started this business as well from nothing, no funding from anybody to get it to where it's at in terms of the turnover, I believe I am a good in entrepreneur. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think black men are, 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 or black South African men mm -hmm. are threatened by women that make more money than they do? Um, s you know what? <sighs> Some of them are. Um, I think so, <laughs> yes, no? they are threatened. For me, when I meet a person who is a potential partner, 
money is, is, is not an issue. Mm. And as long as he can respect my ambitions, because I'm a very ambitious woman, not arrogant, ambitious. And that's the challenge, isn't it? Respecting the ambition, respecting the fact that you've got your own uh, uh, um, resources. Mm -hmm. So let, let's go back to work. Okay. Uh, it's labor intensive, the business mm -hmm. that you're in. I imagine that you have to work really long hours. How do you cope? Have you got sufficient capacity, enough management capacity in place that allows you to work kind of on the business as opposed to in the business? Initially, when I started the business, um, I had to do everything myself. I was everything. I, I was the f finance manager, the operations manager. But as the business grow, it's important to keep tabs on what's happening and to make sure that you are up to date <laughs> with okay. SARS yeah. and, and all the other requirements, financial requirements, because there's records that need to be kept. It's important to make sure that you've got a, a sound financial uh, uh, department. Okay, so you've got the finance manager, you've got the ops manager. Yes. What do you focus on in the business? My job is to make sure that uh, well everything runs smoothly and also to grow up the business. Okay. And, um, the, and the short-term growth plans? To start looking at other sectors like your um, national key point um, clients and also to explore the, 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 the cash and transit side of the, of the industry, the security industry. You? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Cash and transit. Okay. So, okay. So there's VIP protection services. You're in that. There's yes. guarding buildings and residential. There's mm -hmm. offices. You want to grow the part where you take care of national key points like the SABC, for instance. The SABC so providing or security the airport, services, the airport, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, so and then you also want to do cash and transit. Cash and transit. Also the electronic side of of the business. Okay. So well. there's still a lot of scope for growth. I'm going to hand you over to someone All right. who specializes in mentorship and business coaching and have a bit of a chat about your business wow. and then we'll connect afterwards and find out if any kind of useful insights came out of that conversation. Okay. okay. All right. Great. Lady T is going to join the recently married Palesa Mabidilala, CEO NZ Africa, for a brief chat about her business. They'll join us a little bit later and tell us if they had a useful conversation whether Lady T took away any insights that she'll find helpful for her business. Well, um, I was a bit nervous, I must be honest, but you know, the interview was straight to the point and it made me to start thinking about certain changes in my business. What I'm expecting from my coaching session is new fresh ideas on how can I take Lady T forward. So my business is going by into a cool as NS two tears, a cool. Yabana, Hingago gets a good to be no catch, or was you good tagla led. Agni has a footy name, maybe. I guess one of the coaching session yet. I am began to any part of my business. No catch wait. What are some of the goals for this year? Going forward, we, we, I'm looking at going for bigger contracts mm. and for tenders, which I've been avoiding uh, because of the capacity and the infrastructure that I feel we are not really ready mm. to go for tenders. Mm. So I didn't want to waste time by tender documents and do all those stuff. Mm. So um, for tenders, the requirement is that they come and they check if you have a proper control room. Mm. So it's very important for us at this stage where we want to grow the business and we want to take it to another level that we have a proper um, control. Mm. So it's about prioritizing what's key because if you look at this, it, it holds the key to, to, to bigger things for, for your company because it means now you've got the infrastructure and capacity to, um, to attract uh, bigger business. So this is actually something that, yeah, that, that you can implement, yeah. So Busi and Sengyo have chatted has Busi managed to get Lengiwe to articulate her business's growth strategy a little bit more? Busi, what has Lengiwe done well so far? She's got a running business, it's mm -hmm. working to some degree. What has she done well? She's managed to build up a solid um, structure. She's got 56 employees. 
And one of the biggest requirements in, in her security company is compliance. And she's done that very well. She's got a solid um, administration structure that is supportive of the rest of the team, the security team. So what I've noted is she's, she's managed to build that structure. And one of the things that she mentioned that, that she does well is to make sure that everyone in the company feels valued. The employees are very loyal to her because of the incentives she gives them and how she treats them and values them. So that's a big plus, yeah. In terms of her growth strategy, what are the things that she needs to do in order to improve and grow her business? She knows where she wants to go and she's got the goals clear in her mind. One of the things that we, we spoke about that isn't clear is the action plan. How exactly is she planning on, on getting there and her ability to just make sure that she dissects those big goals into, step, into a step-by-step -step process. She mentioned something that's holding her back from growing her business is the infrastructure and building a, a, a solid control room. And when we, when we looked at how she could get there, when we broke it down into step-by-step -step processes, it wasn't as big as she thought it would be. So um, we spoke about her ability to, make, to, to, to dissect those big goals into step-by-step -step processes and make sure that on a day-to-day -day basis, she's building up to meeting those, those big goals that she has for her business. Okay, I want to thank you. Do you agree with Busi's assessment? Very much so. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree with it, and I will take it back home and, and do exactly what she had advised me to do, especially on having a bigger vision, but not breaking it down to action plan on a daily basis now, because you're looking at saying, you're saying to yourself, I want to have a national footprint, and you leave it there. You, you don't realize that you have to work on it on a daily basis in order to get there. What am I doing today to ensure that um, by 2017, I have an office in, 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 in Pretoria, I have an office in Bumalanga. What do I need to do now before I go there and put up my office and set up and all? So yes, that okay. for me is what I need to do. Fantastic, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. And thank you, thank you for sharing your story. I wish you the absolute best um, and I'm sure everything is gonna work out. Thank you very much for the invite. All right. In a moment, we're going to catch up with the next entrepreneur and find out how her coaching session went and what insights she's learned and how she's going to treat her business differently starting today. So cash flow is always going to be a challenge with entrepreneurs, especially a growing business. External finance is an avenue if your business is positioned for it. There are stringent requirements when it comes to external finance, and rightfully so. Working capital particularly is a hard one to finance. So they want to know for sure that this business can manage itself with the assistance of this working capital and they'll be able to pay it back. However, it's not the only form of finance that exists. You'll be surprised at how much finance exists within your business because you're fortunate enough to have clients. The only thing that might have to change is how you relate to those clients, how you invoice those clients, and if you maybe just looked at how we change the behavior of our clients by incentivizing them, by educating them, you may find there might be working capital that sits, that sits within your business, and you might not need external finance. We're joined back in the studio by Notando and Balesa. They've had their coaching session. Let's find out if any insights came out of that. Lady T, what, what did you most get out of that session? Um, a whole lot came out. We looked at the cash flow, which is the most challenge that uh, most entrepreneurs do face. What Balesa mentioned is that other than external funding, one can also look at internally, even optimizing all the avenues, maybe uh, look at ways and means of incentivizing uh, the existing client. Just for example, the invoicing, the way invoicing is done, incentivizing clients to pay on time, which is something that it, it, it can be done. And can you imagine if your clients do pay you on time, then you don't really necessarily need to be going to the bank and, and, and asking uh, for more funding. And, and it's or a simple that, thing sorry, to yeah. do, ne? to get your clients, you know, give them a discount or whatever for paying exactly. earlier. Because 
there's a cost to the finance anyway. Mm. So you're going to be paying interest on money that you borrow in order to service operational cash flow. Um, so, you, you know, if it is possible to generate mm. it from internal means, it's much better. I hadn't actually thought about that. Mm, same. Uh, mm, <laughs> okay, and what else? Okay, and also um, in terms of training staff, making staff to take more accountability over and above that for them to be in innovative and, and treat the businesses as if it's their own. It shouldn't just be about this is my job and this is what I do and this is what I get paid to do. When people start looking at a business as if it's their own, then they start becoming more innovative as well. And how, how do you encourage people to start looking at a business more like it's their own? How do you get them to take ownership? So this is part of developing your team. Um, we tend to focus on developing their core skills mm. rather than their approach to business. And a lot of the times it's them understanding the overall objectives of the company and then buying into it, then being part of the strategy of the company, and then being recognized as valuable for that strategy. And giving them a sense of ownership, that you own this, I'm going to allow you to do this, execute on this, and then see what happens when you apply your mind, rather than me telling you what to do. And it becomes an organic change. Fantastic, mm -hmm. okay. What have you picked up about Notando that she can work on um, in order to make her a better entrepreneur? Okay. So she is a fantastic entrepreneur because she is about business growth and improvement. She's about making things better and she cares about the service that she gives to her clients. What I think she actually needs to work on more is um, investing in herself, just having time for her own, um, you know, just having more time to do things that are other than just being the MD of the company. Does she need more support from a sales perspective? Should she be the only one driving sales? Is there a need for another Lady T? Within her current team, she probably could develop um, some of the management to start driving sales. But again, to get them to do that, we want the team to start owning their, their units as well, so that they can actually start incentivizing clients themselves to take on more business. Okay, I'll see. What's, what's next? What are we doing differently from tomorrow and next week and the forthcoming weeks? My core team that I work with, I think those are the people that can assist to take the business to another level. I just need to put more time and focusing on, on, on developing them. Cool. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you very much. I wish you the very best. <laughs> I think you're doing some really, really cool things and I expect that um, you'll be growing by leaps and bounds into the future. And I hope we've created a relationship here mm -hmm. that will continue past today. Definitely. Always a pleasure. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Here at Making Moves, we've certainly been inspired by these hard-working female entrepreneurs and hopefully you have too. Catch us again next week. Goodbye and God bless. It's been a very a good journey, a worthwhile experience. I think the whole point of coming in here today was to say, how do I take Lady 2 to the next level?